This week at the Care Center, I would say it's been really different. Last Friday, we learned that the church would be shut down, and because of that, we needed to change how we distributed food to our guests. So we quickly got our heads around an idea and changed the way we give food and um, moved to a emergency drive-up distribution. Cars line up early in the morning and for about two and a half hours, we're able to distribute groceries. We started doing it last Saturday and um, as of the end of day today, we served almost 900 families with food. In addition to the drive-up service, we also got the mobile care center back out on the road. When we reached out to the school districts, we learned that kids that are on the free and reduced lunch program who normally get up to two meals at school, the schools are able to continue to give food to them. And so what we did is we came alongside them and we're able to supplement with even more groceries for families that are in great need. We're holding two things in tension. We know that there's a great need in the community and we wanna do all that we can to meet that need. But we also want to do our part in flattening the curve and keeping our staff and our volunteers safe. Starting next week, we will have the mobile care center out in the community more. We will have a smaller group of people here at the care center distributing food, and we will be in constant communication with our partners to find new and creative ways to get the food out safely. This week, I have been reflecting um, on 2008. It was during that time that God gave us this really, um, really crazy idea to build a care center. And so many people told us that we were crazy to do a capital campaign just coming out of the recession. But we felt led and we did it. And we built this care center. And this week, as I pulled on to campus, I was just so glad that we did. God is using the Care Center in just incredible ways during this season. And I know that in this crisis too, God is gonna be faithful. And we're gonna pivot and we're gonna come up with new ways to serve the community. I would argue even more now than ever. Church isn't about a building. It's not about a Sunday service. It's about being Christ to our community. 